We're going to break down the tropics for you and the outlook over the coming week or so. Wanted to start by showing you how we can break down our hurricane season into basically three parts or three thirds. You have the first third, which includes June and July. A little bit of activity. Sometimes we get some early season storms. We could even see a little development ahead of the official start June 1. As we get into that second third, this is where most of the activity really takes off, especially as we finish out August and get into the first three weeks or so of September. Now that we've Turn the calendar and we're heading into October. We're coming into the last third, October and November here, and this is where the activity really declines. The other thing that's interesting about this last third of the hurricane season is that we typically get a more active storm pattern in the mid latitude. So through our area, we get more frequent storm systems coming through across the United States. And as those systems swing off the coast, there are more cold fronts that help turn storm systems that occur out in the Atlantic. They can help turn them off to the north before being much of a threat. So basically, as we come into October and November, we start to feel better and better about getting through this hurricane season but we're not done yet. In fact, we just got a new storm, Kirk, and we could see Leslie form later today. We're also watching a broad area of low pressure spinning here in the Western Caribbean. There's some indication, about a 40% chance that we could see something develop and pull into the Gulf. Although I will say the medium range global models not going crazy with it. They do kind of develop a system in here that we would need to watch uh, over the coming week. As we take a look out across the Central Atlantic, we have what's left of Joyce just scattered showers and a remnant low a remnant low what was Isaac is over the North Atlantic but then we have Kirk right here and there's another area just out to the east of that south of the Cabo Verde this is going to continue to move along and pretty much follow in Kirk's footsteps. Now you see Kirk is forecast to turn more to the north and then we've got that next system which would likely kind of follow a similar path. Isaac not a threat. Joyce is pretty much gone and Kirk again the one that is forecast to strengthen. This system here again 40% this area of low pressure. It's just a disorganized kind of cluster of showers kind of in a large broad circulation, but we could see something in the Gulf of Mexico. As for Kirk, the outlook for this actually calls for it to become a major hurricane. So it is likely to strengthen, but you can see Bermuda's here. The East Coast is here. This thing is far away, far to the east of Bermuda. So not a threat to us. And again, that next system, which could become Leslie, would likely follow a similar trend. We will, of course, keep you updated on anything that develops. So keep checking back with 13 News Now.